have heard on her Sweetly singing all the plains And the mountains in reply Echoing the joyous Oh man, the block that I put in front of my welcome sign is frozen to the porch. It keeps falling down. I'll just scoot it over to it. There we go. Welcome back, y'all. We're working on our second batch of candied pecans, and I just dropped that yolk in there and didn't need to do that. We got it. Don't worry. We're home. We're home, yeah. So earlier this morning, we went to Aldi, and then when we got home and got everything put away, we made one batch of candied pecans and some uh, Rocky Mountain snowdrops, but we didn't have white chocolate, we used regular chocolate. They are really good. So now it is much later in the day, almost time to cook supper, but I wanna go ahead and make this other batch of the candied pecans because I'm using these for gifts. They're going with the gifts that I'm taking down to my mama's house on Christmas Eve. It's getting exciting, just a few days left. Got the egg wash on there. I'll have this recipe down below. Y'all seen us make these a bunch of times. It's my mama's candy pecan recipe. By the time these get done, it'll be time to start supper. We're just having cheeseburgers tonight and slaw and chips. I've been really wanting a homemade cheeseburger, so it's happening tonight. I was gonna do sliders at first, but then I just decided on regular cheeseburgers because I already had a pack of regular hamburger buns here in the freezer. Now I have a little bit of pecans left. That's fine. We'll need those for something, I'm sure. slaw and I already see that I should have gotten a bigger bowl. <laughs> okay so I switched to the bigger bowl. I think we're gonna put this slaw mix in the little food chopper and make it a lot smaller like you know finer. Hey, yo. I got the oh you wearing suit. daddy's slippers? <laughs> yeah. yeah that's what we're gonna do and for these cheeseburgers I have some of that um, pepper cream cheese uh, dip. I think I'm gonna put some of that in with a few of the patties. We used to do that with that cream cheese spread and I think the dip will work just as good, just about anyway. <laughs> These y'all are the Rocky Mountain things I was talking about. Everybody loves them. It's a little bit later now. We've got a Christmas movie. Cece is making her. Are you doing cupcakes or cake? Cake. She's, she's making, making her Christmas. Christmas she's making Daddy's Christmas present a chocolate cake. I coming over here and want to get. Woo! Dad, you want the chocolate? I think Ty's back. Ty and Bubba went to Walmart. They were going up to Ingles real quick, but Ingles didn't have what they were looking for, so then they went to Walmart. I said, y'all better. Get ready, it's gonna be crazy in there. Okay, now we got bubbles. Good morning, girls. Mr. Man's up this morning and we're looking for his orange bouncy ball. It's somewhere near Tyler's boots that he always leaves right there. <laughs> somewhere over here. I think it's inside something red. Do you see anything red? This is red. Yep, that's red. Does it have a pocket? <laughs> That could be a fun game. Bounce it and see if you can land it in the boots or the apron. 10 points for the apron, five points for boots. We have a little snow action, y'all. Just a little. Lots of cooking is about to go down today, y'all. The first thing we're gonna do is make the Jell-O poke cake. I'm taking it tomorrow for Christmas Eve. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that this morning. And then this afternoon, 
We're gonna make sausage balls, banana pudding, and I'll have to get my list to see what else, but I know sausage balls and banana pudding are happening this afternoon for supper tonight. We're just gonna do pizza night. When they heard me talking about pizza yesterday, they said that's what they wanted. So since I won't have to cook supper, I might be able to make a few more things than I thought today. Um, today we're gonna make a jello poke cake, um, banana pudding. Okay, it's time to start this poke cake. I already have the oven preheated to 350. First thing we do is just make this white cake mix just like the box says. It's been a long time since I made a poke cake, but as y'all know, it's one of our favorite things, especially Titus. This was his favorite cake for the longest time. He has a lot of favorites though. I'm pretty sure he likes all cake, even Funfetti. Whenever I make that for the kids' birthdays, he loves that. He just loves cake. Dashing through the snow in one horse open sleigh. Over the hills we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells. y'all the cake is done I'm gonna go ahead and poke holes I'm using the not pointy end of this little baby skewer so that it can make kind of big holes a or two ago, I thought I'd take a ride to Miss Fanny Bride was sitting by my side the horse was leaning late this fortune seemed to plot Fell into a drifted bank and then we got upset. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. We have two cups of very hot water in here. I just heated it up in the microwave. You can boil it, but I've done it this way too and it still turns out just fine. So, because we're just pouring it over the cake. We just need it to be hot enough to dissolve the jello. And we're using the six ounce strawberry jello. Jonah's gonna stir it up and dissolve the jello and then I'll pour it over the top. So we'll just sit this over to the side and let it cool down. Get all my jello I spilled off of it. And we make the pudding just like the package says. All right, I think it's cooled down enough now. The pudding is ready. Um, my welcome sign once again blew over. I'm just gonna leave it, I'm just gonna leave it down. I just need to move it to the garage until this wind is over. <laughs> The rocking chairs got to blowing so bad earlier, I thought they were gonna hit the window. We probably need to move those in too. Now we just put the pudding on the top and then the whipped topping and this one is done. Okay, my top cannot go all the way on because it's gonna smush my whipped cream. So we're just gonna gently place it on there and we'll go put this in the refrigerator.
Did I purchase the Family Matters Christmas episode from season two, Have Yourself a Merry Winslow Christmas? Yes. Yes, I did. It's wonderful. It's the one with Freddy Teddy and Steve knocks over the Christmas tree, breaks an ornament, all that. Great episode. Okay, sausage balls. Oh, they're at the store looking for the Freddy Teddy. See, see, the Freddy Teddy reminds me of Teddy Rupp. Teddy Rupskin when I was little. That's one of the first things I remember getting for Teddy Chris for Teddy Christmas. <laughs> That's one of the first things I remember getting for Christmas was a Teddy Ruxpin and a little caterpillar friend of his. Let's do, I usually do this by hand. We're gonna try it with the KitchenAid. I'm sure it can handle it. I mean, it shreds chicken. Surely it can mix up some sausage balls. There you go. Oh, is it locked? Is this? It's not doing the best, but I mean, it's, it's doing something. Now we're gonna put in half a cup of Parmesan cheese. That's about all that's left in there, Cece. Just go ahead and dump all that in. And this whole 16 ounce bag of shredded cheddar cheese. It's fine. Everything's fine. Look at that, look at that. Everything's fine. Ah, it's okay, you can turn it off. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so the KitchenAid and the sausage ball thing, y'all, did not go quite as, as we expected, but it mixed it. It got it done. Just don't leave it alone. It needs supervision, adult supervision, while mixing sausage ball mixture in the KitchenAid. Still got it done faster than we would have by hand, though. Come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant, come. helping Cece get the bananas apart. We're making Paula Deen's, well, one of her banana pudding recipes. Um, it's the one with the chessmen crackers, the Not Your Mama's banana pudding one, but we're not gonna use the chessmen crackers because like I told y'all, I couldn't find a regular pack of them. All we could find was like the travel pack that just had 12 in it for almost $8, and I was like, oh, we'll go with vanilla wafers. So Cece's gonna slice these up. She just got a little plastic um, knife there. It's not a real one. Can you open the bananas, Manny? Sure. You open them for us, she's gonna slice them up. Over here, I'll be mixing the other stuff together. First, we're just gonna take, what did I do with that vanilla pudding? Oh, there it is. We're just gonna mix this with two cups of milk. It's just, the recipe actually calls for French vanilla, but I couldn't find it anywhere, so we just have regular vanilla instant pudding. There's nothing in us. There's one. I'll help you get this one out. There's nothing in us. Lots of nanas. Monkey see like bananas. Oh, they look like bananas or they like to eat bananas? They like to eat them. Yeah, they like to eat them. <laughs> okay, sausage balls are out and cooling. Mm -hmm. 